All right, here we go. We are pressing on in our deja vu experience thing. Um, let's do some more shit. All right. Uh, if you're wondering, we can't open the trunk even if we wanted to because uh, we need a different key than what we have right now or something. You are in front of a newsstand that is open for business. This might not be the best time to brush up on current events. Yeah, it's not. If you buy a paper, which is 100% a waste of quarters, um, what was I gonna say? Oh, it's just a headline that says uh, that the Japanese attack Pearl Harbor. Ah! You run into a bum who blocks your way. He stands so close that your eyes water. Yes, he's creepy. The following words dribble out of his mouth. I got a scoop. Something that'll save your life. If it's worth 50 cents to ya. Okay, that's fine. I'd like to hear your scoop. I'd like to use it on him. The bum gladly takes the money, looks around and says, Joey's hitman has been looking for you. I got the word that he's waiting in your office. Why do you know so much? That doesn't make any sense. But, thank you. Okay, moving on. That's probably true though. Joey's hitman probably is waiting in our office, so. Good to know. Let's go into Pete's All Night Gun Palace because we like guns. All right. And those are boobs. Or maybe a gut. I can't tell. It's probably Pete, so I guess it's... Yes, it is a guy. That is just one big gut. That is gross. Moving on. The guy behind the counter says, You want something? Yes, I do. I want your gun. Take the gun three. Thanks for the 20, Bill. Because we don't use the word dollar. We just say the 20, Bill. You bet. Let's see what we just bought. Sorry for that loud car noise. It's a standard military issue, German Luger. Alright, party home. Get some bullets, what do you say? Get one bullet. Thanks for the quarter. You're welcome. Is there a way that I can just say buy all if I talk to you? Apparently not. Get one bullet. Thanks for the quarter. Ugh, exercises and tedium. <coughs> Alright, you're still welcome for the quarters. Get one bullet. Thanks for the quarter. Come on. There must be a shootout at some point in this game coming up. I've never beaten this game, in case anyone's wondering. Um, I know basically what I gotta do, though. I had forgotten that I had ever even played this game when it was recommended to me. I was like, Deja Vu, what's that? Um, and I have. I've played the original, the, uh, the Mac version. Um, on my cousin's Mac back when I was like four. So good, good times. But yeah, this is really boring. I'm sorry. Anyway, this guy thanks us a lot for quarters, which is nice of him. Um. Okay. I think we finally get to leave your shop. And now we have guns and bullets, and why is there a drunk crossing the street? Why do we care that there's a drunk crossing the street? You know, it doesn't matter. 
doesn't matter. Going away. Need them. This is Peoria Street. A blue cab is waiting. Ah, I'm on reserve battery power. Alright, new address. Okay. Let's get in this cab. You're in the back of a cab. The hack in front seems nervous. The driver said bluntly, Hey, mister. Where you wanna go, eh? I want to go to West End. The cabbie accelerates. As you arrive at your destination, he looks at the meter and says, Here you are. You owe me 75 cents, okay? No problem, I said. As I agilely flipped coins. I don't know what I'm talking about. Um... What would I like to use this on? The pay here thingy. The driver begins counting the fare. One, two, three quarters. Thanks a lot, pal. Alright, let's get out of here. And we're finally at our first new destination of the game. Welcome to West End Street, one of several streets we will handily visit throughout the game. We're standing outside the entrance to the expensive looking Stanford Arms. And I am Stefan Scott, you are YouTube, peace and cheers.